All right, so once again, uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, to Mr. Sibin. Okay, good morning, everyone. All right, so uh, I hope, well, I, I just updated this one 30 minutes ago. So uh, I hope you have already read some of the you know, information about the homepage. Well, uh, everything is quite the same, you know, the format's quite the same with my previous uh, courses. It's just that, uh, of course, they have different titles, sections, and then schedules. And then we have here the uh, welcoming page, which is quite similar with my welcoming page in, you know, in other, with my other subject. And then here is about your instructor, you know, not, not that much. And uh, this uh, subject will be delivered purely uh, via ODL, okay? uh, purely online distance training. And then here is the course overview for the subjects. So this course provides development, applied practical applications in merging two or more technologies as one to act as another system. Okay. And then here are the course learning outcomes of this subject. So number one is at the end of the uh, course, you'll be able to discuss the basic concepts of uh, concepts of technology, its importance, and its applications in engineering practice. Number two, you'll be able to discuss the features of a certain technology which can be merged with other technology. Number three, you'll be able to acquire proficiency in developing a new system using a high-level programming language. But I doubt uh, we will not be able to do this one because what is like completely uh, creating a new uh, application. But we'll just try to simply uh, merge uh, two applications. But uh, I'm still looking for a project that we can uh do you know like merging two existing technology to come up with a new technology out of those two technology okay so uh for this one uh let's just say that this one will be done under software uh design laboratory okay and then fourth similar with the number three so this one will be like design and modify the innovative system and programs using various arithmetic operations controls looping structures and arrays that the students learn throughout the course. Well, this one is quite possible, especially if uh, you already have an existing, you know, you and your, let's see, your group mates have already created something that is already working. And then, uh, you know, uh, you have come up with this idea wherein why don't we combine two system as one and then coming up with a new technology. It's like merging two and then making that as one. Okay, so uh, this one is, uh, I don't know if we can do this one, but uh, since this is full term, so we'll see, okay, if we can uh, find a way to come up with two software, let's say uh, group one will be creating the software and then this uh, group uh, will be having another software. Or let's just say that this group will simply uh, migrate your uh, application from a website to Android so you can have, let's say, emerging, uh, let's say, well, it's not basically emerging two, but um, making the uh, platform into two, okay? But uh, it's still the case since there is a collaboration between two separate uh, groups wherein uh, they've come up with a, a newer uh, version of the existing one, okay? So that doesn't mean that uh, you have to combine two to make one uh, application. So it could be also like you have this existing and then just modify that one and then upgrade that one into a uh, better one. So that's still a part of this emerging technologies since that is the main goal of this uh, subject. You know, uh, Having this one as your uh, basis, the existing one, and then coming up with a new one. Okay. And then I, I found this one, which is actually quite similar with our syllabus, but uh, I might change some, or I might might I might uh, not adopt uh, some of the topics. But as a basis, uh, most of the topics will be coming from this uh, PDF. So just check this one out. This one came from, well, actually, this one was made by three universities. So just wait a second. So uh, the one this module was prepared by the Ministry of Science and Higher Education. Amosh in collaboration in collaboration with uh, these three universities. So it's like a total of total of four uh, schools. Okay, so we have the Bahir Dar University since 1963, uh, Adama Science and Technology University since 1993, 
And then Addis Ababa Science and Little University since 2011. So the old one is this one, and then uh, not that quite old is the second one, and then the a new one, which is which was which was uh you know created or founded at the year 2011. Anyway, so uh this uh, article uh were compiled way back 2019, so two years ago. And here are the topics. Okay, so number one is the introduction of emerging technologies or the let's see, evolution. How does the uh, technologies uh, evolving from the old app to today? Okay. So basically, this is our module one. And uh, data science, I didn't uh, get this one since this one is quite, uh, let's just say that this is quite broad. Okay, especially that this one is actually a major, uh, it's one, uh, one of the major that you can choose if you're going to uh, take your master's in computer engineering. Okay, so we can have this uh, major in data science, major in, uh, let's say, software, major in a uh, boat, okay, etc. And then we have the other one, which is major in uh, cybersecurity. Okay. So I didn't include this one anymore. Okay, so we, we have this AI, which probably you guys are already uh, familiar with. And then we have this, of course, we have IOP, okay? Since uh, emerging technologies is not that uh, far in terms of uh, IOT. Well, uh, IOT is like emerging technologies already because we are combining uh, two technologies or three or four, okay? Or even five technologies to come up with the new or this one uh, technology character, okay? We also have augmented uh, reality. So one thing that is not in here is a mixed reality, but I, I did include that one in our uh, syllabus. So yeah, and then I didn't get this one anymore, the ethics and professionalism, professionalism of emerging technologies. But we'll see, because before that these emerging technologies uh, were offered, we only have a half term only. So it's like a uh, one month and 15 days only. But right now, since this one is full term, so we have more time, okay, to uh, use, and then uh, there is not that much pressure since uh, it's not that uh, fast pacing. Like every seventeen days, every eighteen days, you're going to have your uh, exam. But right now, you have to wait a month and fifteen days before your exam. Okay. So yeah, I hope uh, we are clear with our uh, topics. So I'm still looking for uh, our possible uh, topics, okay, that we can discuss under this uh, subject because this one is not yet uh, finished. This one is not yet uh, perfect, I should say. Okay, so there's still a lot of improvement, uh, you know, in uh, this subject. All right, so the rest, uh, they're quite the same. So then etiquettes and then a video, which you know, will guide you on how to use the canvas. So are we clear so far? Yes, sir. All right. So let us proceed now to the syllabus, which I just finished a while ago. And then I'm actually thinking of changing one of the topics, especially the especially the uh, Google, I mean the uh, cloud platform. Because this one was supposed to be discussed under database, which will, you know, uh, be offered maybe next year. Since uh, Sir Dan, we're uh, going to bring back the uh, database, yeah, database as a subject. Because we don't have database right now, this uh, curriculum for the CPE. So for now, we will have this one, but those are just, you know, uh, modules. Okay, I cannot really show to you guys a working, uh, Google Cloud Platform or Amazon uh, Web Service or let's see Azure or any other kind of platform since the one is kind of uh, pricey. And then uh, if I'm only rich, only if I'm rich, okay, only if I have a lot of money, why not that I will avail each one of those just to show to you guys how does AWS work, how does Google Cloud Platform work, how does Azure work, etc., etc. Okay, but since uh, I don't, I'm not that rich, okay. I don't have uh, enough money to uh, subscribe and then avail other uh, services. This one's quite pricey, especially if 
uh, you're going to avail uh, let's see, their services. So once you avail their, uh, let's say Amazon, okay, you're going to avail their uh, storage. So it's just the storage. Okay? It doesn't have the service, okay, like uh, uh, application as a service. Uh, what else? Those uh, kind of uh, services that you're going to avail once you have availed their uh, initial service, okay? So there is a message right here. Okay. So yeah, this is not a uh, application. Well, basically this is an application, but if you guys are going to check this one, let's say the Amazon Web Services. I don't know. My my internet brightness kind of. So they have this uh, free trials, but the problem here is uh, it's like you, uh, I know how to store, okay, but I don't know how to navigate and how to use AWS. So that's one problem that we're having right now since I uh, really haven't experienced in, you know, uh, using an AWS. So similar with uh, Google Cloud, similar with uh, Azure, okay, and then uh, here are the like the payments. So five gigabyte for this uh, 12 months, I don't know, free year, we have 12 months free. All of them are 12 months. So one is the EC2 for 70 hours per month. So this one is subscription per month, yeah, per month. We have uh, per storage. We have uh, per hours also, but I don't, yeah, this one is also per month. So let's say this one, I don't know how much this one will, let's say 750 hours and then it has, those services. So you'll see that, you know, we have MySQL, we have uh, Postgre or PostgreSQL, and then we have MariaDB or Mar Mar Maria Database or SQL Server. So let's see how much will, will cost us this service. So where can I see the price? Maybe for the purpose as the database search. Not the price either. Yeah, anyway, so the more services that you're going to avail, of course, the more money that you're going to uh, spend on uh, each services. So the only one that I have saw or have tried is like storing the, uh, yeah, it's just a basic storage, and then you can put there your, uh, let's say, uh, server okay so it's like a web, web server where you can access that uh, url online so it's like you are uh, availing that one for a month uh, a week so some maybe will uh, cost ten dollars per month or five dollars per month so i'm not really sure so something like that okay There's a free you can see, but you cannot access it after saving. I'm not really uh, sure with that one since I haven't used AWS yet. Okay. So I, I tried others, but uh, they are not that familiar. Okay. And then they are quite uh, slow. And then it only cost me maybe one point something dollar before I just tried that one, but I forgot what is the name of that uh, uh, web server or uh, cloud services. Okay. Anyway, since this one will be discussed next week or week four rather, not next week. Okay. So I'm here uh, week four. Ah, my bad, my bad. Week two. Okay. So this will be already discussed. Okay. The intro to uh, cloud computing and then uh, what is Azure? The okay. Azure is under Microsoft. And then we also have here our uh, Amazon. And then we also have here a uh, Google Cloud uh, platform. So yeah. Uh, I have here a list on uh, what is this one, uh, how does Azure work compared to the others, and then what are the services that, that is being offered by uh, Azure, etc., etc. So this is this basically information that uh, will introduce uh, how to use uh, their applications. So we have a lot more applications out there. So not just these four famous, not, yeah, not just these four famous uh, web 
I mean, cloud platform. Okay, so we have hundreds or maybe even thousands of uh, platforms out there that you can use. Okay, it's just that these are the, uh, you know, most well known in terms of uh, cloud services. Okay, so I'll give you guys more information uh, with this one. Okay, uh, once uh, we are already at this uh, cloud computing. Anyway, so yeah, that is for the uh, week two and three. And everything is the same. So course learning outcomes, everybody discusses one under uh, the home page. And then week five, ah, still, okay, comparison. Okay, so week two to week five is uh, cloud computing. And then week seven, so basically, from week one to week six in your midterms, this one will talk about you know the, the, the introduction of evolution and devolution of our technology, and then the rest will be cloud computing. Okay, so you will expect that this is already the coverage of your uh, midterm exam. Okay, so basically concept, concept based uh, exam. Okay, so no competition, uh, no actual uh, project. Okay. So it's pure uh, concept for now. But if there are you know, uh, some changes, like for example, I uh, was able to find uh, one, uh, let's say a cloud computing server, which is free, wherein you guys can also use that one for free, then we will try that one and then try to create a uh, application and then put our application out there to uh, implement. And then we'll use that one as a server and then access, the, uh, access that application anywhere using, let's say, URL or let's say using a uh, application. Okay. And then number seven, week seven, uh, we'll talk about DevOps. So has any one of you heard what is DevOps? None? None of you heard what is DevOps, what DevOps is. Hello, everyone. Are you guys still around or you guys are already eating your lunch? Okay, so no one, I will assume that no one uh, heard or no one has an idea what DevOps is. So this one is basically like a team, okay? So we have this dev team and then operation team, okay? So uh, before it's this one in that they develop and then they uh, implement or operate and then they do everything in that one team. But uh, suddenly, of course, uh, uh, they've come up with this one, this idea of DevOps, uh, to separate those two. I mean, those that one into two, okay, which is now called the DevOps. So the development team is now, we have this one department development team and then the operation team has, is another develop, uh, another um, uh, department. Okay, so basically those two right now is like uh, friends, but uh, they have this, uh, call this one conflict with each other. Okay, because whatever is uh, the dev is going to create will be tested by the operation. Okay, and then of course the operation will say uh, all or let's see all the errors, all the bugs, uh, everything that is wrong with the application. And of course it will be to go back again to the development team to uh, uh, recalibrate everything, redo everything to uh, yeah, just to make it perfect in uh, the standard with standard of the uh, operation. So basically, uh, they are not uh, good in. Well, basically, this is what they're saying. They are not uh, good in, uh, in terms of relationship. They are not that uh, well. Uh, we call this one, well. Hindi ganong kaganda or not that good, something like that. Anyway, so yeah, that's the uh, uh the, the, the uh, idea of DevOps. Okay, so this one is actually, uh, quite um uh, good that. Uh, we will be able to use one on this under this emerging technologies because most of the big companies out there is now using this uh, DevOps. So might you might shock that uh they are using or they are applying uh this one as their uh, way in developing their applications or projects. Okay. 
Next one is hyper automation, which is under week eight. And then week nine up to 12 is about uh, reality or augmented reality, virtual reality, and then the uh, mixed reality. So this one is just a combination of uh, augmented and then virtual reality. Yes, that is why it's called a mixed reality. And then we have the same ebook right here, which you can uh, find on the homepage. And then pieces of evolution, so you guys already know what these are. Okay, of course, uh, we uh, we are getting or we are uh, solving your grade from your discussions, quizzes, assignments, and then examinations. And then this is how we copy your grade. Well, pretty sure you guys are already familiar with this one. Uh, fifty percent class is standing, then fifty percent term exam for the midterm score. The same with the uh, tentative final score. Fifty percent class is standing, and then fifty percent final exam, and then one third of your midterm exam, and then last two third of your tentative final exam will be your final score. And then just to take note that your final score must be sixty percent, at least sixty percent, for you to have a grade of seventy five. Okay. So yeah. That's all for the syllabus. Any questions so far? None, sir. Okay, again, uh, there might be some changes, so I'm not sure yet which one I will remove and then what uh, I will add on this uh, subject. Okay, so this one is not uh, fixed. Anyway, let's now move on to the uh, modules. So for now, of course, I was only able to finish the week zero and then the week one. So to those who haven't submitted the one minute video yet, uh, please submit them until May 24. So you still have like two weeks from now. Okay. And your exam schedule will be on, for the midterm exam, it will be on June 16. And then for the final exam, it will be on August 3. Yes. Why is it 11? I mean, 7 3. This one will be 11 3 a.m. So 11 30 to 1 30 p.m. All right. Ah, so uh, it will be discussed today, uh, Mr. Uh, Alexis, for the uh, week one. Okay. So for the week one, we have this one, of course, as usual, you will see here an uh, overview okay, of the module one. So here are the topic learning outcomes. We have the list of topics, and then we only have one module for this uh, week. And then we have this uh, supplemental videos that came from YouTube. And we have this uh, PDF right here. Okay. So let's do this real quick since we now only have seven minutes left. And then for the uh, PDF, okay, so this is 20 last slides only. Now, this one is actually quite straightforward, even though I will not discuss this one right now. I'm pretty sure uh, it's only 18 slides. I'm pretty sure that uh, you guys will be able to understand this one just by uh, reading uh, the entire uh, PDF, okay? So uh, right now, take time to read this one after our meeting, okay? And then here is the instruction for the research work on, where is this mixed reality? Research work on technologies. Yeah. I accidentally click the settings. So wait a second. I don't know if it's my internet. So in here, you're going to list all the technologies you know that was used or still in use right now by computer engineers. So take note by computer engineers only. And then each technology write a brief history when, where, and how it started. Okay. So I'm very specific with this one. So just put your when and then information, where and then another information and then how and then information. So I should see 
them uh you know chronologically in order so that i'll be able to check your uh, research work uh you know faster and then last one after uh putting those when where and how it started what is the purpose purpose of that uh, technology okay mm -hmm. and then another four sentences and uh, uh paragraphs and then why is it not being used uh, right now okay these modern days or why is it still being used up to today? Okay, and then of course another uh, sentence uh, defending uh, why it is not being used uh, nowadays. Okay, and then of course you have to put it in Microsoft Word and send it to my. Of course you don't have to send this uh, to my email anymore. Okay, you can just send it right here. Okay, you can upload your work under this assessment quiz assignment. So I think I have to update this one because this one was two years ago, if not mistaken. That is the last time that I taught this uh, subject. So yeah, just submit it right here. It's a 3 points uh, research work. Perhaps I have to change this one since 3 points is quite low. Let me make this one 50 points. And the due date of this one will be May 18th. So similar with your case study number one. So your research of work and case study one is actually you know, quite connected with each other. Okay. So the fact here is thinking or inventing a new technology might be a little hard, especially if one that you think doesn't exist yet actually existed and is now being started by someone or a group of people, so inventors, scientists, researchers, or etc. So least here, one invention which you think doesn't exist yet here on Earth, okay? So, of course, uh, if you can find that one on the internet, then that only means that it already exists, okay? So for you to be able to, you know, uh, verify if it doesn't really exist mm -hmm. is you have to search, you know, the, the name of mm -hmm. that technology that you have a think of. Okay. And then if it doesn't exist, then you can put it right here as your answer. Okay, so uh, here is the uh, things that I'll be in. So the title or the name of that technology and then short definition or the purpose of that technology. And then when do you think it will be invented? Okay, so just be futuristic regarding this one or will become possible here on Earth. Okay. So what would cost humanity uh, why they started using that technology. So just imagine that uh, at the year 2100, you're now going to use this technology because, okay. So this is state uh, why people are going to use that uh, technology at that specific date, okay? So are we clear with your uh, case study number one? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. All right, so that is all for now. For the uh, module two, I'm not yet then uh, finalizing this one. So uh, yeah, I'll just meet you guys again next week. If we just use the entire week for this week, you know, to uh, finish the our research break and then the case study number one. All right, so any other questions so far before we end our meeting? Answer. Answer. All right. So yeah, uh, that is all for now. Uh, let's just meet again uh, next week, Wednesday. So goodbye and uh, thank you guys for coming as always. Bye, sir. Goodbye. Bye, sir. Goodbye. Bye, sir. Happy lunch to uh, everyone.